cartoons themselves sing songs of following your heart. You find that it's always about following your heart. Making a decision from your heart. But the Bible itself says that your heart will deceive you. So we need to be conscious what kind of themes are being instilled into our lives of our children. What kind of ideologies are being instilled into the lives of our children. We say the children are the future leaders of tomorrow. But while we are busy with the hustle and bustle of the day, our ch children may sit in front of the, the television watching simple cartoons. Yet there are wicked people out there with subliminal messages that we want to put in the minds of our children. And that is why Jesus himself said, I go one step further. It is said that committing adultery, yes, is sleeping with somebody. But Jesus said, I go one step further. Just looking at a woman is a ad adultery itself. So basically, by looking with your eyes and lusting, it's, a, it's committing adultery itself. Jesus tried to show the high level of the law. Why was he why was he brief for this? You know, studies have shown, scientific studies have shown that just by looking at the TV, the chemical balances in your brain, if you had to look at a violent movie, the chemical balance in your brain is as though you are partaking yeah. in that violent act. So sometimes you may not go out and do the actual act, but your brain is being taught. These kind of behavior patterns. That's why you find sometimes you may not understand why your child is rebellious towards you. Like I've said, some of the Disney cartoons show that there's no parents around. Some of the Disney cartoons show that parents don't know what they're talking about. Even the Disney, um, the half an hour programs that they show. The parents always seem like they don't know what they are talking about. And the kids are correcting the parents. This is a form of subliminally brainwashing your children. That parents don't really know what they're doing. And so you find your, your child starts snapping answers at you. Starts giving you a comment while you discipline them. And you're surprised by this. Yet, while you're busy... In the arsenal and bustle of your day and your child is, is watching those TV programs. They suddenly fed subliminally. And it is said that your brain takes just a few seconds to settle from the conscious into the subconscious while watching TV. That is why you find sometimes you're looking at the TV, your mind wanders. And during this time when your mind wanders, they say... This is the best part in which they can subliminally put messages into your brain. You find consumers use this. Consumers, advertisers use this. Subliminal messages to place into the consumer's mind. And this is how advertisers use these methodologies. So I urge you to be aware of what's going on. Be quick in your spirit. Let God identify you and direct you to that which is not of God. Simple cartoons, and I'll be addressing some of the cartoons one day. Simple cartoons, you find them bowing down to the single eye images. And the single eye images are an allegiance to the satanic cult. So we need to be aware of what our children are watching. I urge you. Children are so naive. And children learn the fastest. Parents, you yourself. Be aware. Do you know? Research this yourself. Do you know the actresses and actresses? Those that work in Hollywood. Only allow their children to watch an hour or two hours of TV a week. Nothing more. Now I'm not saying TV is bad. I'm saying that they themselves know what the Hollywood moguls and the Hollywood people are doing. 
Therefore you find that they limit their children, their very own children, from watching TV. Why is this? There should be a reason. And many of them inform in their interviews that their kids hardly watch TV and they're not allowed to watch TV. Some of them just to a point of one hour a week. There should be a reason. But I wish you take this home. Educate people. Gospel Educate others. Com. Gospel Moves.com